This video is a demo of how we can integrate WISE simulations in FROG. Mm -hmm. uh, WISE is a web-based inquiry science environment that's been developed for many years at Berkeley. Um, mm -hmm. They have a number of different uh, simulations and different tools for students to work on science mm -hmm. inquiry. Uh, so one example here, uh, this is a, a WISE uh, kind of uh, section. They have some different tools here. So they have this little simulation that shows you how, what happens if you uh, choose a certain cup material and you put really hot liquid and uh, the te air temperature is very cold. Then we can have these uh, temperature probes and we can see uh, what happens when we run the simulation. Um, in this case, this um, simulation is put next to this plotting tool. And what will happen is that the data generated by the simulation is going to... Um, start filling into this plotting tool. So if we run the simulation now, we see that the data points are immediately transferred and plotted here, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can also change our settings and we can then see that we get different series uh, on the same graph that we can then compare. Um, a final thing that uh, is very neat about this is that both these two widgets have this um, add to notebook function, which basically takes a screenshot of this component as it is right now and uh, we can then uh, we can add some text and we can save this and then they have this built-in notebook here where we can later uh, insert um, this image that we um, that we saved so we have this available here so the idea is, is for students to be able to write kind of a report about their experiment. So I really like this, how um, this is all connected. And um, the nice thing is that this is all open source. And in fact, these little simulation widgets are separate from WISE. And they have a rich enough API that it's actually feasible to not just put them into another system as a black box, but actually interact with them. So we'll see how that works in Frog. Um, so Frog is our orchestration and um, a learning system. And we can go here into the preview. <clears throat> we'll see here that we have a bunch of different, uh, uh, different tools and activities. Um, so one of the ones that we got from WISE is the melting chocolate simulation. Um, and just, you know, this is a very simple thing. So I can say, I think the metal will heat up the fastest. Uh, I start the simulation. And we see that I'm correct, metal heats up the fastest. Um, but one thing you'll notice here is that you can actually configure um, the mode of this um, widget from within Frog. So we can say instead I'm interested in cooling, because that's the only setting that this particular, um, and it says now you will click on the material you think will cool down fastest, I think still metal. Um, and now we suddenly are, are cooling down instead of heating up. So in this case, there's only one setting, but th some of these simulations could have many settings. And we see that we can actually configure that from within Frog, which is quite nice. Um, now, I'm going to take, so there's another um, simulation here, uh, which, simula which is exactly what you just saw. So we can select uh, the different materials here. We can uh, run the simulation and we can see that it's working. Now, it's also, while we're doing this, it's sending constantly um, log messages to Frog. So we see here, uh, we select material, aluminum, at a certain timestamp, we select the beverage, uh, we ran the simulation at a certain time, and uh, this would uh, be able to fuel a, a dashboard for Frog that's showing, you know, uh, what kind of settings students are trying out, how many times they've run the simulation. Uh, we don't have that right now, but that would be quite easy to do because of the data that's available. Um, and we also get all of the underlying data here um, from uh, all the runs that the students are doing. And this is what is going to fuel the, uh, the connected components that I'll show you in a little bit. And we're going to make a little graph and we're going to see if we can actually connect data from this. Um, so you see there's no configuration here that's exposed, but we do get data. So I'm going to go into the graph editor, and I'm going to create um, this uh, thermal simulation. And we're going to have um, a few of them because we want to try to do some different stuff. So I'm going to have here, uh, first we're going to try the screenshot. So I'm going to just put in a gallery. We have different activities that support um, that could support screenshots. 
and uh, this interface here is a little bit um, it's not great but we're, we're going to improve that but I'm just saying that we're streaming from the thermal cap to the gallery uh, then we're going to try a plot so we'll need a plot and we'll configure this to stream to the plot and finally um, we'll see if we can do a table as well a spreadsheet so let's see we'll need let's say 50 rows four columns and we'll screen to the spreadsheet and here I just need to remember to enable the screenshot um, so that we can send the screenshot to the gallery okay that looks good to me so I'm going to now start this session with the first activity and here's what I would see as a student so I'm seeing the thermocup simulator here um, I can of course run the simulation as much as I want um, yeah I need to select that and when I'm happy, what I can do is I can take a screenshot and it now gets um, transformed into the gallery. And so we can look at, I mean, there's some CSS issues here, but um, we have the nice screenshot. Um, for example, we could also go back and configure the gallery and say we want the students to comment. Um, uh, what are the laws of thermodynamics? And now if I go in here and click on it again, we'll see that I can comment on this um, image. Um, so this is now a, a traditional learning item in Frog, which means that this can be sent to many different activities. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's just an image. It doesn't carry with it any information mm -hmm. about the configuration of this simulation, but it also means it's very flexible because it can be uh, sent anywhere you want. Um, we don't have a, a notebook design like Wise has uh, yet. That might be something interesting to look at in the future. So we'll go to the next um, set of activities. And again, we see here the simulation. And we see here a, uh, a plot. So let's again select some uh, settings here. And once we start running, we see that it's sending data live to our nice diagram. Um, and this is, um, so this is a WISE, uh, sorry, this is a, a frog activity that's built into frog. And this is a WISE plugin that's in live streaming data. Again, we could, we could change um, the settings here and we would then get a second series as you can see. Um, so that's pretty cool. And again, because this is part of um, frog, we could now send this uh, diagram to another um, Activity, you know, students can uh, explore here a little bit. We can do a box plot, or we can do dot plots, so we can do different kinds of things. Um, the final thing was the spreadsheet. So we'll go back here. Again, here we see a spreadsheet with some, just some tables. Um, I'm gonna, let's do styrofoam for once. It should be much slower, I'm guessing. And again, we start. And we see here that the measurements are actually sent directly into this table. Uh, we can pause it and then let's say we want to try to compare this with aluminum with exactly the same degrees. And it automatically creates um, a new uh, column. And so, you know, previously we could compare on the plot. Here we can compare uh, just the numbers and we see that, of course, aluminum is going down much faster. Um, so that's what, what we had so far. Um, <laughs> This is a live spreadsheet, so you know you could uh, type in formulas if there was something that uh, let's see B13. You you can do calculations here. Um, students could work with this data in different ways. Um, so that's basically what I want to show you uh, is how we can take these um, uh, simulations from Wise and actually integrate them quite deeply into Frog in a really meaningful way, uh, which I think is exciting. And uh, we're also experimenting with exposing Frog activities to other systems in exactly the same way. Thanks for watching.